If I could describe Castro Street in one word. Exuberant. Uh, Cozy. Quirky. Sparkles. <laughs> Sparkly? <laughs> Sparkles. Originally an area filled with dairy farms and dirt roads, Cassius Street is now one of San Francisco's most unique and vibrant neighborhoods, filled with stylish shops and restaurants. With a rich history and activism, the Cassius Street is known to be open and accepting to the LGBT community. The Cassius Street draws people from all around the world who want to experience its creative, playful, and inclusive environment. Starting in the 1960s, the people who had lived in this neighborhood, it was a very working class, diverse neighborhood, um, started moving to the suburbs, mostly gay men, but LGBT people in general started moving in and created a neighborhood here. By the 1970s, Harvey Milk, who was a well-known local figure here because he ran a camera shop, ran for city supervisor and became the first gay elected official in California. He'd only been in office, I think, maybe less than a year when he was assassinated. The fellow who assassinated him received a very light sentence, so there was a riot. Police came and rioted here in the Castro and started beating people up. So there was a lot of drama and misery, but this neighborhood really solidified around people resisting anti-LGBT bigotry. The Castro has always been a place where people come together, whether it's in protest or in celebration. Merchants take care of other merchants. We have customers that take care of merchants and merchants that take care of customers. It's really a symbiotic relationship where everyone's taking care of each other. And that's kind of what makes the Castro so special. Dog Eared Books opened its Castro location in June of 2016. This was a, an iconic bookstore for LGBT books back in the 80s, 90s. And we really want the Castro to have a bookstore. <laughs> We're the last one left. Our store opened in the Castro in 1936. Literally, we carry everything from hammers and nails to boas and tiaras. We've built a uh, drag queen section where we carry the eyelashes and we carry drag queen shoes and stockings and makeup. Gilbert Baker uh, came up with the rainbow flag a few decades ago um, just to symbolize the beauty of diversity. And uh, so that's why we have rainbows all over the place, because we love everybody. Even though we're in San Francisco, you still find people harassing the LGBT community. So it's, this is safe for us, and I think it's important that we have somewhere to we call our village. It's really important to have places that draw people from other places to feel safe if they don't feel safe in their own community. But my hope is that the world will be safe for everybody. It's nice to have a place that you can call home, you know? Reporting from Scott Center News, I'm Kiana George.